CIA report caused a lot of uh, discussion and fuss. What is it all about? Well, the CIA isn't uh, entirely new to criticism throughout its history. It's been subject to various uh, investigations that have been very critical about his actions and about his relationship with the policy uh, making community. But this one is particularly sharp in its uh, criticism. It criticizes internal management, it criticizes the oversight arrangements, and it criticizes is the uh, effectiveness of the agency's methods. So what about the effectiveness? What is the criticism? Well, the criticism is that they don't work, that the enhanced interrogation methods that were applied by the agency after 9-11, up until about 2006, were simply ineffective. This, of course, has been disputed by many of the people from the Bush administration, Dick Cheney in particular, but the report is quite unambiguous in its statement that they added no value to the American intelligence mission. What does it mean for the future of intelligence services, like the CIA, but also maybe Britain? Uh, it, it will put greater pressure on them to be uh, accountable to policymakers and to be uh, very, very robust in their internal management uh, arrangements. One of the most uh, striking things about the report it appears to be the lack of oversight over junior staff who are in charge of these programs. So what does it mean to, for, for, for the oversight process as a whole? Well, this is, raises an interesting question for the oversight process because the, the report appears to have split the uh, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. It was uh, released by the Democrats and has been uh, condemned by the Republicans and indeed by former members of the intelligence community who claim not to have been consulted enough and who uh, are saying that the report's uh, conclusions are flat out wrong in many cases. Uh, it, it's going to lead to an interesting debate certainly uh, about the future of the oversight process and whether or not agencies like the CIA who have been given uh, a lot of extra resources, a lot of extra manpower and a lot of uh, uh, operational freedom over the past number of years over whether or not uh, that they can be trusted w with this kind of power. Is, any justif is there any justification for criticising the report? Uh, there, there could be uh, certain uh, vi viable criticisms of, of the report. For example, over its uh, research methodology, uh, it's been claimed by uh, former CIA director Michael Hayden, for example, that they've been very selective in the way they've quoted documents or used documents and that they've not uh, interviewed people who were involved in the program. Um, th th these may or may not be uh, particularly robust criticisms. Obviously, how, uh, so summarising six million pages of information will require some editing, uh, and, and the CIA has in the past been less than forthcoming about letting its uh, uh, staff be interviewed. I mean, for you as an intelligence scholar, do you think that there is now going to be a wealth of new information that will, uh, will help you in your work and others? This. Uh, report does uh, give us quite a lot of new information about the CIA's practices since uh, uh, 2011, certainly. A lot of it makes for very depressing reading. Okay. Less depressing reading is, of course, your wonderful book, which we should plug quickly. This book uh, is, is about intelligence gathering uh, in the early Cold War and is focused on the all-source intelligence effort. So using signals intelligence, using open source intelligence, using uh, traditional spies to gain a better understanding of the Soviet Union's uh, strategic, economic and political strength. Okay, great. Thanks a lot and happy Christmas. Thank you, Herr Bosch.